Welcome back. In the previous video, we successfully created relationships between the fact and dimension tables. The next step is to create a pivot table. If you have any questions so far from the tutorials, please leave it in the description box below. And if you are yet to subscribe, this is a good time to click the subscribe button. Thank you. You can create a pivot table from the home tab in the data model or from the insert tab in the workbook. Let's insert a pivot table from the home tab. Click pivot table. It automatically switches to the workbook. So select new worksheet and OK. I'll hold my mouse and drag the fields list closer to the empty pivot table. Here you can see all the tables in the data model and the tables in use will be placed in the active tab. It's empty now because the pivot table is empty. You can right click on the table to show it in the active tab or you can use them from the all tab as well. You can expand to view the fields in each table and if you have a long list, you can hide some fields so you don't have to scroll through a long list. Let's try it. Go back to the data model under diagram view Go to any field, right click and hide or hold shift and select multiple fields, right click and hide. They are now grayed out. Let's go back. The fields are not visible anymore. To unhide, let's go back, select the fields and unhide. To hide any of the tables, right click on the tab in the data model and select hide from client tools. Let's go back to Excel. The table is now hidden. I'll unhide using the same process. Now let's populate the pivot table. Move type from the school list to rows. And 2020 from enrollment data to values. Now watch this closely. I'm going to drag and drop 2021 funding to values. Now we get an error message that relationships may be needed. Didn't we just create relationships in the data model? Yes, we did. However, you need to understand that dimension table fields should not be used in the values area. The fields in the dimension tables are expected to be placed in rows, columns, or filters, but not in the values area. So if I drag it to columns or rows, I won't get the error message. Now it is true that there's an existing relationship. However, the values are expected to be drawn from the fact table. So how can we work around this? It's easy. We can create calculated columns and measures using DAX formulas in the data model and simply drag to the values area. DAX formulas are very similar to Excel formulas and it is not difficult to grasp. In the next video, we'll learn more about calculated columns and measures.